Little Bit of Franchise TV on his YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything. Today we're actually going to open up two of the Comic Tom 101 Mystery Mail Call subscription comic book mystery boxes. These are available each month for around like 30, 35 bucks a piece, I think. I just honestly had just signed up where every month they just draw my payment out of my PayPal account. I think it's like mid 30 or so bucks a month. But in this, you get exclusive comics only available in the Comic Tom 101 mystery box. So if you don't know already, Comic Tom actually has a pretty popular YouTube channel. Probably one of the most influential comic book like YouTube creators that there is. So make sure to check out Comic Tom 101 on YouTube. I watch pretty much all of his videos. That's where I learned a lot of my comic knowledge was Comic Tom. Here we go, first one. So this always has, like I said, exclusive comic books only available in this mystery box. And I think one or two boxes every single month, you'll have like one like big hit item, some kind of a grail comic book. I've never hit one. But I actually have several months piled up on me of the Comic Tom boxes. So today we're gonna to do, we're gonna do like two of them in one video. Two's better than one, right? Yeah, here we go. Which comics did I get? First, let's see what, if I can figure out which month this one is from. This one is the March, so very, very recent. Here, actually, and then we also had the um, the recount, comic tags, digital comic and collectible card for the recount. I heard that that recount got optioned pretty much almost immediately when it came out, and I haven't heard anything since then. But supposedly that got optioned very quickly. TV show, movie coming soon, Netflix, Hulu or something. We'll find out. Here we go. First comic. We have Patrick the Wolf Boy by Night. So this one is a Oh Yeah Comics group. I've never heard of them. This obviously is probably going to be a Comic Time 101 exclusive. Okay, next one. We got Spider Punk. That's a cool print right there. Spider Punk is going to have, I bet you, a pretty huge part in the new... Um, Spider-Man cartoon, what's it called? Um, the the Spider-Verse, I drew a blank. But that's coming out, I think, what, this summer, later this year, I think? The next one? Here we go. We have the Guide to Smart Comic Collecting. This could be interesting. In this volume, understanding first appearances, the most important collecting tool. This could be very handy to a lot of people out there. Even seasoned collectors could probably find something in there. I'm intrigued. Here we go, next one. We have... Superman vs. Aliens, Dark Horse Comics. This one I think might be a little bit older, I think, right? I think it is. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Next. Wow, that's interesting cover. We have a Virgin Variant cover. Let's see if I can figure out what comic this actually is. Look on the back of it. Oh, this is... Save the Universe Ninja Funk, it looks like. Number two, this is the What Not Variant Edition. So we do have some kind of a special comic that is a What Not exclusive. Actually, if you've never downloaded the What Not app, go ahead, down below there'll be a direct link to What Not. They do actually sponsor both my YouTube channels. They've been a sponsor now, going back to, what, mid-2020. We're coming up three years being sponsored by What Not. Make sure to check them out. It is the number one place to buy and sell all of your collectibles. Use my link down below, save 15 bucks on your first purchase too on the WhatNot app. I actually auction live every weekend. So check me out there, live auction style. We have no idea what comic this is either. So this one, oh, Grim number six. So we got Grim number six. We got a Virgin variant cover. Not a bad cover, different. Not my style, but different. And last one, this one we got Gargoyles. Number one, Dynamite Comics. So, first one, I didn't get any of like the of the like ultra rare comics or anything. Go ahead, you can scan the card. Let's see what all the exclusives were all about in this box. Gargoyles number one actually had a print count of only 1,800 copies. It's a low print run. And the Grim number six, this is the Virgin variant. This is only a print count of only 700. Ninja Funk number two, this is the Virgin variant print count of only a thousand copies. Then these two are, you know, not exclusive. And Patrick Wolf, it says 1800 copies. 
So I think that was actually a decently solid box. I got some very low numbered print count comics in that one. Box number two. Let's see what month this one was from. Once again, in the mystery black bag. Hopefully, I get one of those rare Grail comics out of this one. Never got one. Maybe today's the day. Let's see if I can get out the, the card first. We have the Electric Black Volume 2 collectible thing. I don't feel it in there. The card tell me like what month this is from. Is it loose in there? I don't see a card around. Maybe it's between one of these comics. Here we go, first one. We have Create a Comic the Scoot Way. Scoot by Scout Comics. I guess this is a coloring book, it looks like. Interesting. And this is actually kind of a cool one right here. 1400 count. A Spider-Man print. It kind of has almost like a metal sheen to it. Very interesting. Okay. Next we got Ranger Stranger Scout Comics. I've never heard of that one, but it's kind of a kind of an interesting demented cover. Looks like some evil rabbits are attacking this young man. Okay, next. Round Trip to Hell Scout Comics. So far, I think every comic's been, I think, Scout Comics so far in this box. I've never heard of this one. We have a pentagram on the cover. Okay, that's interesting. Next, the Savage Dragon number two versus the TMNT. This is old. This is probably like what mid to late nineties, right there. Mid to late nineties, and then ooh, this one back. This one says it has like a special card on it. Limited. It's actually two fifty four out of twenty five hundred. The House of Secrets trade dress variant. Very cool. It's like a reprint of the House of Secrets. And last one, we got a Blade Virgin variant. It says limited to only a thousand. Very nice right there. So it looks like this one did, did not have a card in it because they just went ahead and just put like what they're actually were limited to, which is kind of nice. So in the future, if I ever like sell this comic or something, I have it right there on the back of it telling me it's limited to only a thousand copies. That's kind of cool right there. So not a bad box. I would actually say the first one was probably better than this one. This one had a lot of just random Scout Comics ones that I really have no interest in. But some people out there will, obviously. We all enjoy different kinds of comics. See you next time on this YouTube channel.